Okay, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is tie the line on the end of a long stick. I'm just using a fishing pole just for convenience. That's a really easy thing to do. Um, and then I'll take two stretches of line across my finger just like that and make a single twist. And then once you have that loop over your finger like that, you can then take the line at the bottom and pull through just like that. And that gives you this loop, which let's pretend like this is a lizard's head. If you pull it, it just nooses like, like that, nice and tight. So now I want to take this out and uh, see if it will really catch a lizard. I'm excited to see how it works. This exposure should be just perfect for finding lizards on the rock sunning. I've been seeing lots and lots of these little baby sagebrush lizards, but they're too small to catch with the noose. There's a western fence lizard on this rock, just sunning itself. And I'm gonna see if I can get it with the noose. Got it. Sweet. That was awesome. So it's important for me to say that um, that noose doesn't hurt them at all. Um, it just tightens down with the weight of the lizard and it's not enough to choke them or anything. But this one's got some light coloration, blue and orange. So this is a female western fence lizard. The males are really big and black. So these big scales are something that can easily allow you to identify a, a western fence lizard. Let's we'll set her back where she was. I'm really excited that this noose worked. I'll probably use that a lot more in the future on the bigger lizards. It, it doesn't really work on small lizards, but those big ones, it could be really helpful.